the best of Henderson, tough runner at the baseline. He's going to be big time. He's going to be a big time player here at Duke. Vasquez looks to Gary Williams. He's got the height advantage on Shire. Zubak reaches over, commits a foul. He's got the great vision. What happened there in that possession? You gotta go and beat the basketball. If you want the ball, you can't wait for the Cubs to little teardrop time. There it is. And he loops it up. Nothing but net. Got some great genes. His dad was a solid player, Gerald. Gist will go to the line where he is a 70% free throw shooter. Hey, are you shocked? I know you're not. You missed the ACC. You've seen so many games. Maryland and Duke. Typical. This brings out and makes you a kid. And this is just your average rivalry. Yeah, it's just your average night for college hoops. Duke with a chance to take the lead. Nothing better we're going to see coming up soon in March Madness. Mick Roberts. Zubek. Shoot the little hook shot. Oh, take it to the Throw goal. away. And another run out for Strawberry. He does such a phenomenal job reading the play and sneaking out. You know what? Doris did such a great job talking about balance earlier and legs, leg strength. That's what hurt Subic in the last possession. The lack of leg strength. Shire running the ball club now with Paulus on the bench. He did this a lot early in the season when Paulus was struggling. They do it against this kind of defense, though. Hello, Steve shoot 39% against it. Demarcus Nelson in the lane, and he's fouled. 7:21 to go in the game. Duke back in it. They're down by three. Yes, defensive transition right now. A poor job defensively in transition by Duke. See how they sneak out right here. They do a great job getting the ball up the court, and this guy gets out in transition as good as anyone, Mr. Strawberry. When that shot goes to the glass, he's off. Henderson, another floater in the lane, got his own rebound. He's really asserting himself offensively, the freshman. He's had a big night. How to play Paulus now with, with Shire. They gotta start thinking about the Paulus out there. Maryland doing a pretty decent team on double or a pretty decent job on double teams like that when Henderson goes down hard. Bad pass. McRoberts tried to save it, stepped on the sideline. Great, great, effort, great hustle man. by the big guy. Yes, sir. Great effort. Be curious how long they wait before they get Polis on the floor. Tomorrow night, 7 Eastern, number 21, Virginia Tech, number 25, mm -hmm. Virginia. Then a 9 at ESPN2, number 8, North Carolina, takes on Georgia Tech. It's Throwdown Thursday, presented by IBM. You know, outside shot. These teams mm -hmm. hoping to get that fourth slot so they don't. Have to play on Thursday. Those games are big when you talk North Carolina, Georgia Tech, Virginia, a big game with Virginia Tech. Great guard play, Singletary, McReynolds, Dowdell, Gordon. You play on Thursday, that means you have to win four games in a row. That is tough. Boy, good pass inside by Hayes. He got it to Gist. The leads back to five. Nice passing by and Hayes. And here's Paulus. Yeah, you got to bring him out. Can't wait. You know, everybody talks about Duke getting the advantage in terms of free throws. Maryland's only had 14 fouls thus far here in this half. And Duke has committed seven. And not, they're not even in a bonus. Fierce competitor, coach of the Olympic team. I tell you. I heard Tony Kornheiser today, PTI, and I loved that show. Talked about how great it was watching Pat Summit. And I look at these guys and I start thinking about, what about them if they ever put a cheer in Alpha? That's something I would never do, right, Mike? Oh, of course not. <laughs> Paul a shot clock at eight, uh, and that's a big shot. That's why he's got to be out there. I'll tell you what, he has learned to make big plays. Remember earlier this year, Mike, he was struggling. He wouldn't have taken that shot, wouldn't uh, have thought about it. Now he may be the number one option. Loose ball right out to Shire. Three on three. Pull up for three. Oh, oh, what a shot. It's a tie game. 
What a big try back to his mom and dad. Small. He gets all the looks from his beautiful mom. Gary Williams wants a timeout. Didn't like that sequence at all. What a great environment. Mom and dad love it. Maryland Duke, 5.28 on the clock, and it's time. It's Shire time. Shoot the J, baby. Nothing but nylon. ACC, oh, it's going to be rocking and rolling over at Tampa and St. Pete Forum. Take a look at Paulus here. Wow. Tied at 64. See, I would attack Polis now. Whoever he's guarding, I would get him the ball, a little isolation, take him one on one. He's going to play Matador defense. He's going to be afraid to commit that fifth foul. Right now, they got him on Vasquez, and Vasquez likes to drive anyway. A Beck one. Too strong. Fights for the rebound. It's a jump ball situation. Possession arrow gives it back to Maryland. There goes that off to the possession. Defensive play, done by Duke, but the ball goes to Maryland. The worst rule of basketball. All alternate possession, a joke. I can't understand how that rule still is able to survive. Vasquez, what a shot. I tell you, gentlemen, a miracle shot. And you talk about a kid with a lot of guts and heart. I mean, here he is, first game at Cameron Indoor Stadium, five on the clock, and he's going to take the ball to the rack. Apparently, he doesn't see it as a problem. Not at all. Demarcus Nelson is fouled by Strawberry. He said, say nice things about me. The game's on in Venezuela tonight. I said, you don't have to worry the way you've been playing. Take a look at Vasquez. He's going to get right in the lane, Vasquez. Right over the top. I mean, that is a tough shot. Right over the top of the defense. Look at those numbers. You, triple double. I mean, he's got a potential triple double. McClure caught in the lane, kicks it back out. Now we get down to shot selection, Mike. Right? Shot selection. The right people shooting the ball determines whether you win or lose. That's all. That's Push a off. That's a good call. Percy with the call. Demarcus Nelson used the free arm with a huge push off. That's an easy call for an official to make. You know, Duke in that four game losing streak, they were only a play away from possibly winning three of those games. Yeah. And you were looking at probably a number one seed. Can you imagine? Had they won that heartbreak and they lost to Florida State and Virginia, tough game to Carolina. Maryland has had the lead since it was tied at 38. They extend it here as Strawberry hits a big three, and it's back to a five-point lead. I tell you, he has improved his offensive game. He's always been a defensive player, but he has elevated his offensive game. Look at that high five. These kids love it. The spirit, the enthusiasm, the energy in collegiate basketball is so unique. And yes, 